Lita. Why is your face so beat right now? Cause I'm trash. Hey guys, what's up, it's Lita. I don't really know why my face is so beat right now. I'm just decided to get ready and get beautiful, I guess, for all of you lovely people. <laughs> this video is kind of a surprise because I didn't really say anything about it on social media. Well, mostly because I didn't know if I was actually going. I didn't know if my mom was gonna say yes to me going for winter, but I had already purchased the tickets to go see Cam. By the title of this video, you can probably tell that this is gonna be about me going to see my long distance boyfriend over winter break. I decided to go from the 20th of December to the 3rd of January. I had been planning this since this last summer. For the past couple months, like my living situation has not been the most stable, so whoever I was with was basically making the decision on whether I could go or not. I wasn't living with my mom, but I was living with my aunt, who is a family member of my mom, so it was ultimately my mom's decision. She ended up letting me go. Thanks, mom. But this is going to be a video about me going to see him, and it's basically just going to be narrated by me, and I'll walk you through the entire trip. So being a long-distance couple, if you're watching this as a long-distance couple, you probably know how exciting it is leading up to going to see your significant other. It had been a while since I'd seen Cam, so I wasn't really prepared <laughs> mentally and there was no way to prepare, but it was fine. <laughs> um, so the day came and I was not mentally prepared at all. I had all my stuff packed, so I was fine. The morning that I was going, I woke up and I drove around. <laughs> I got my stuff into my car and I just drove around. So I went to Starbucks, I'm a basic white girl, <laughs> and I got a coffee and some breakfast because if not then I was not gonna eat because I was gonna be very very nervous so I went and got breakfast and then I just waited at my aunt's house till my mom came to pick me up she took me to the airport my mom took me to the airport so I was waiting for my mom and I wanted to eat while I was waiting for her so as soon as she got there I like ran to her car and I put my luggage in her car and we were off we got to the airport probably an hour before my flight left and that's a good amount of time but the TSA there was ridiculous so I was flying out of SeaTac which is a really really big airport it's an international airport so people fly in from all different sorts of countries it took a while to get through customs as soon as I got through customs I had to bolt it to my gate because it had taken like 30 minutes for me to get through the line because they also had to open my wallet, which had a whole bunch of coins in it, and they couldn't see through it. <laughs> Anyways, I got on the plane, and I recorded some stuff from there, and so it'll probably come up right here. I had to take two planes. I took one out of Seattle to Denver and then out of Denver to where Cameron lives. I get migraines <clears throat> when I fly on planes. So when I got there, my head was hurting like a biznatch. <laughs> and I got my stuff and I got off the plane and I walked in there and you know how your heart beats really fast when you go and see your significant other after a really long time? It was crazy like it was actually physically hurting me because I saw him and my heart just dropped so I got in there and then we started we got into his parents car and we went back to his house and now we're basically just gonna go through like the trip so I got there on January 20th and that day that I got there I really didn't want to talk to anybody because <laughs> like my head just really really hurt because of being on the plane. That day I kind of just spent with him and soaking up the moments being with him because it had been a really long time. I went to sleep and I was glad I went to sleep but it took me a long time to actually sleep because of my migraine but when I woke up it was gone so it was fine. Not a lot of things really happened it was just that we were spending time together and I got to spend Christmas and Christmas Eve with him on Christmas Eve a lot of his family came over and they gave presents and stuff and his grandparents gave me a lot of amazing things actually. They gave me this 
little bag with all the kitties on them and it's my makeup bag now and it's the best thing ever <laughs> the trip was just so euphoric it's there is no other word to describe going to see your long distance significant other than just euphoric because it is the best feeling in the entire world i had a lot of fun while i was down there and i'll include a lot of pictures and videos and things While we were there, I got to go see a movie with him. I got to spend New Year's with him, which was our one year and 11 months. I got to play with all their hedgehogs and their dogs and their cats and <laughs> their sugar gliders. They have a little, a little farm going on there and they also have a bird. <laughs> One thing that happened while I was there though was something that happened at home. I was no longer gonna be staying at my aunt's house. That was kind of an emotional thing for me was like figuring out what I was gonna do when I got back. There was a lot of bonding that went on over the two weeks that I was there. And I also went on my first date. Me and Cam went on our first actual official date. <laughs> Also, while I was there, I started playing Skyrim because I told Cam that when I was down there, I wanted to play some Skyrim because he got Skyrim and I don't have a PS4 anymore. So I was like, you're gonna let me play. Okay, so if you're seeing me right now, you have finished part one of two of my seeing my long distance boyfriend for the third time video. Basically, I'm putting this out in two parts. The second part will be the second half of our trip and also like my leaving and my message to all you guys so keep your eyes out for that because that'll be going up soon like almost directly after the first part of this video my name is Lita Gabrielle and <coughs> I am losing my YouTube partnership if you could do me a huge favor and it could be a favor for you too, send this video to somebody that you know, whether it's your long distance boyfriend or girlfriend or significant other, or your parents, your grandparents, some family that under doesn't understand the relationship that you're in, that you'd like to send this to them and tell them that this can work and not every person on the internet is a creep. <laughs> like this video and subscribe to my channel because that would help me out a lot because I have to hit a threshold of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of YouTube watch time from you guys. So if you can get other people to watch my videos, it would be a huge help to me and it would help me be able to put out videos of Cam and I to other people, actually get it to be seen by people through the YouTube partnership. Anyways. That's it for today, my penguins. All my social medias, like always, are in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I could really use it right now. And stay tuned because this won't be the last long distance video that you get from me. All right, I will see you later, my penguins.